<clears throat> All right, now that I have Adriana's stuff in a collection, let's say I wanted to take, um, I don't know, let's say this one. And do some edits on it. Um, here's a tip in Lightroom. When you have this noise reduction, like if you were to put noise reduction on it, it's going to slow you down a whole lot. So typically you don't want to add noise reduction until like when you export it. Because it'll just be slow and awful. Um, so say I take this picture. Now as you can see I've already done edits to it. But um, let's say I want to open it in Photoshop. I would right click, edit in Photoshop. And I'm surprised it didn't ask me any questions. Because usually it'll ask if you want to edit the original or if you wanted to edit a copy with your adjustments added to it. So it'll be interesting to see what it defaulted to. Okay. I guess since I'm working off of a raw file, it just gives me with the adjustments added on there. So let's say I want to do you know, some little retouching. Say we want to add this, which is obviously way too much. Fix it down. It's so like let's say, you know, we'll collapse all these layers down. Let's say this is how I would like to save this image. You know, you would Control S to save, and it saves it in Lightroom as a TIFF. So when you close this and you go back to Lightroom, now you have two versions of this file. You have this and your original. And you would have to export this by going to File, Export, choose in here. 2017, Adriana, and my JPEG folder. Or I could do, you know, if this were a finished file, I could create a ready to order folder. And then, you know, I would export to that if I was done with it, which I'm not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to choose JPEG. Make sure it's not resizing it or anything and export It'll probably tell me I already have something titled that maybe maybe not but yeah that's how you would take something that's within a collection and uh, yada 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 <laughs>